for a big tournament, which is the fifth league of the HSBC Sevens World Series. This tournament is a massive defining point for a lot of the teams, most of the teams, because obviously it's halfway, but some teams that just need to get back on the top foot, and there are some teams that need to maintain that pressure at the top. Three teams in the top right now, New Zealand, the USA, the host of the tournament, and also Fiji. Fiji's in second, well, third place. Uh, I said second because New Zealand and USA are equal first, and then Fiji is just below them, two points below them. So it's a very, very tight-knit contest right now. We've already had four contest as you know first one in Dubai where New Zealand beat USA in the final second one which was in Cape Town in South Africa where Fiji came out on top over the USA the third one was in Hamilton where Fiji came on top over the USA <laughs> and in Sydney which we were at as well we watched on as New Zealand won over the USA there's a there's a rolling formation here guys there's something that's quite common and that is USA has come second in every single tournament so far all the while without their star player Barry Baker as well as we all know, it is not just first place that everyone's playing for. It is also a top four spot because the top four automatically qualify for the Olympics next year. We support pretty much every team. That's what you do in the sevens because there's so many games across, you know, three days. It's a three-day tournament. There's going to be three different videos. But because there's so many different games, you end up supporting pretty much, you know, most teams because you have to have a team to support during every pretty much every single game. But I will never support against Australia and Fiji. And that, unfortunately, came against her in Sydney where Fiji played Australia in the quarterfinal. And Fiji ended up winning. But also in the group stage this time, Fiji plays Australia tomorrow in the first game. Today's the group stages, tomorrow's group stages and knockouts, and then Sunday is also knockout. So I'm in a bit of a difficult situation. I'll probably end up supporting Australia just like I did because, you know, I am from there. But it's a win-win, lose-lose situation for me. <laughs> but enough talking out here, guys. Let's go have some fun. Let's go soak up the atmosphere. I'm really keen for this. I think it's going to be a little bit more quiet today because it's a Friday. Uh, it's still school, it's still work, and people are still flying in. Nick Cummins. You're the guy. <laughs> I love you. He's a good boy, okay? He's the bachelor. I wish we could get it in the States. Send me something. You're the, you're the guy. Gypsy with a mortgage. Anyway, guys, enough talking out here. Let's go in there. Let's go have some fun. Let's go soak up the atmosphere. Let's go experience something new. We're always experiencing something new on this channel. Go and hit the subscribe button right now. Hit the little ding ling notification bell because it's about to get damn well wild. Son of you damn well know it. But the main thing that I tell you every single time is live your passion. That is how I live and that's how I want you guys to live. I'm living my passion. I'm here in Las Vegas right now. How incredible is that? I'm here for five days in Chicago. Then I'm up in Vancouver next weekend. Back to Chicago. So make sure no matter what you're doing, don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do something. Don't let anybody say that they that you're not going to be able to achieve what you want to achieve. Because if you believe in yourself, which you should believe in yourself, that you will achieve your dream and you will achieve your passion. So go out and live it. Tutoso Vitti and let's go Australia boys. <laughs> We are here outside of Sandboy Stadium right now. I'm here with a couple of the Americans. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Justin and Kellen. Yeah. Are you ready for a big weekend? Oh. It's uh, gonna be a great one. I love the get up, man. I love the get up of both of you. Like, it's this just is what we gotta do. It's freedom, it's America. 
exactly. That's what we got to do. America is the home of bloody freedom. You know bloody freedom. <laughs> we, we just export it around. Exactly. And once we figure out how to make solar power legit, there'll be a lot more freedom coming oh, everywhere. <laughs> now, boys, just about the tournament itself, obviously, USA have come second in every single one so far. Do you reckon this one is the one where they say, no, this is our home ground? Oh, yeah, where? This is, this is where we're winning this one. It happened well, last year. It happened last year, it'll happen again. Yep. Hey, if you can't come second, come first. Well, that's, well, get well, yeah. <laughs> that kind of confused me. <laughs> Number 13, Ben Brazel, the injury sub. The first guy that gets hurt, once that kid gets on the field, he's unstoppable. Say a lie, Number up. Ben Brazel, you heard it here first, ben Australia. Brazil. Australia. <laughs> Coming out, Zay! First up here, and we've got Australia versus Wales. And this is going to be interesting to for Australia because they're coming off and unfortunately confusing Sydney Sevens top, but they haven't reached the level they probably should be at so far in this tournament. Team Sydney, unfortunately, they got to the quarterfinal, even though they did lose to Argentina in the group stage. In the quarterfinal, they came up against Fiji. Fiji is unreal. No, Australia are a confusing team. I'm saying Australia is my team. Obviously, I'm from Australia. I'm so Fiji. My family is Fiji. But, you know, this is a tournament that's really going to define a lot of from all different teams. Uh, Wales is still a decent oh. team. Go on! Come on! Come on, Jose! Go on, take him on, take him on, take him on! Oh, oh. Idiots. Probably going to win by a good 21 points, but like, you know, Wales are playing decent. Whoa! Go on! Oh, great tackle, man. I keep saying about Wales, it just... The defence hasn't been terrible. Try time, try time, try time. Come on, boys! Here we go, man. Here we go. Fiji versus Scotland. This should be a good one. I think Fiji will come out on top of Scotland. Like I said, this is a typical group here with Australia and Wales on the other hand. And as you can tell, obviously, everywhere you go, there is always a massive Fiji and Water Bay. So this is just the beginning, man. It's just the beginning. Here we go. Go on, Jerry. Go on! Coach of the Fiji Sevens team, Gareth Baber. It's a big win, started off. Yep. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, it's always nice to uh, get some rhythm in your game. And, you know, you know when you get rhythm in your game, when you put points on the board, which we managed to do. Um, there's, a little, there's a little bit of work we need to do, certainly when we haven't got the ball. Um, you know, it's an ongoing uh, work on of ours and uh, making sure that we're not infringing and or missing tackles. So we continue to do that. Um, and obviously kick off there because very important. Obviously, you know, the way that Sydney Sevens ended uh, was a controversial loss in New Zealand yep. where there was a two two cards and then today another card. How are you feeling about like the card situation? Like, how do you talk to the boys and say, look, this, this kind of happened? Well, they, they, they know it, um, but you know, it's changing habits. It's just ingrained in them. Um, it's the way that Fiji is played, everybody is played in Fiji. Um, it's a tough environment. Um, and obviously now they're, they're coming up against the scrutiny of referees who are in the world of rugby. So there's a, there's a change that we're making. We're continually trying to adapt to that. And um, obviously part of that process is educating players and how to do that technically, but also mentally and what they're supposed to do in time. All right, so here we go. We've got USA going up against Kenya. Kenya are usually a pretty good team, but you know, the last couple of years have kind of gone downhill a bit. They're a fast team, but they used, they used, they used to be a really good team. Speaker. I'd love to see them back up. You know, they're a pacey team, however, now every single team is pretty much pacey, so it's hard to, to, to be one of the best teams in the competition when you rely on your fastness because you know, nowadays everyone has a lot of fast players. Warm, oh, Danny Barrett! Danny Barrett! Danny Barrett! Oh, wait, oh, my goodness me, that was a play! Carl can you get around? And now USA have turned the ball over. If they can get Carlin, they're probably going to score. Go on! Now you've got him, Carlin! You've got him, Carlin! You've got him, Carlin! That's what I'm talking about. See you later, baby. Get the ball to Carlin. Leave the aisles. He will score, son. Woo! Alright, and we're here after the New Zealand.
Zealand with some old game. But one of the big fellas from New Zealand, mate. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty tired, but we uh, we got up against a good summer team. Obviously, you no, know, it, it was a comprehensive victory, but Samoa are still a tough team. Mm. Do you feel like that having such a big victory is going to mean a lot? Yeah, I guess um, we just um, talked about doing our job to uh, stick into our pace, so I guess we did that and then um, we got the rewards at the end. Current champions. Does that give you the confidence going in, or do you feel like that gives you a lot more pressure being the, the champions from the previous tournament? I guess, yeah, there's a bit of pressure, but we're trying to embrace that and I guess, um, get a lot of confidence out of getting this big win. Try, come on! There we go. And I just saw you ran here from the volume. Right. Ran here from the press room. Yeah. Australia versus Scotland right now. Yeah, Australia should be winning this, but you know. It's not on our team, but in reality, Australia should be coming out of this, this group at least, the very least, and then getting into the finals. Oh, he's away, he's right through, Scott, right there, get him down, get him down, no, 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 get him, 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 ah, this one's going on, man. No kidding. No kidding, man. Try to go and take it all over again, that's enough one, though, don't you dare take it back. Oh, my God, he's giving a penalty. This feels like, oh, yellow card. Jake, a yellow card. This feels like Australia versus Argentina back in Sydney. All over. Break him inside, break him. Get the ball out. Yes! Come on! Come on, Jose! Bloody hell, he's still going. This is for Ali, mate. He's special. He's special. All right, player. Yes, yes, yes! Come on! Oh, as you can hear, that's some Fiji, Fijians going off as always. I'm the, the big fella, Jesse Bray from Australia. Big win over Scotland. Yeah, pretty good, huh? It's always good to get up against them. They are a little bit of a bogey team for us, so it can be difficult at times, but um, we did some good things out there. I'll be honest, man, like the first half I was thinking, it was, it was feeling a bit like the Argentina game like yeah. in Australia, and then second half just dominated. Yeah. Obviously, you guys had a yellow card. How did you pick yourself up at half time and say, no, we're winning this game? Yeah, I can understand. Like, you look at it from the sideline and you can see that, but I think amongst, amongst the group, we're a pretty tight group, and you get a good feeling of the boys and where they're at. Um, from my point of view, I think, like, we didn't look in control, but we felt in control, and I think that's what led us to the result. Exactly. I think that this this tournament, we've got a really good chance of, of going all the way. However, there is a big one in Fiji tomorrow, which is you know, how we got knocked out last time. How do you pick yourself up from the last loss going into tomorrow and saying, no, nah, we're going to get this one? Every tournament's a different tournament. Um, you know, you're playing in different countries with different uh, facilities of recovery and all sorts of different aspects of the game. So uh, this, ga this, this field, for example, is about 10 metres shorter than anything else you ever play. Really close. Really yeah. close. <laughs> um, so for us, that's good because we can get up, press the Fijians. Yeah. They haven't got as much space to play with and hopefully that'll work in our favour. <laughs> Yeah, um, they do. You know, it's good to see familiar faces around the world. 
and especially here in UFC, you know, we get the uh, this is where we get the biggest crowd over the circuit. So now it's good, it's good to get from many faces just supporting us. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up so know that you're enjoying this content. Very tiring day, full of some awesome competition, man. There was some shocks, there was some obviously big scores, and there was some massive hits. And actually, I found the biggest hits came from the USA game. I love Danny Barrett, and he looks for contact every time he runs. A lot of players, you know, they're trying to avoid the contact, trying to find the gap. But with Danny Barrett, he literally looks to go in for the shoulder. He looks for the contact so that he can run. Rush him off, have a highlight, and say, see you later. We are scoring this, buddy. There was a couple of big shocks today, and that was one USA Argentina, where Argentina had two yellow cards, and yet they were still able to come out on top over the USA in the last couple of seconds. Actually, after the song had finished is when Argentina scored to go up. And obviously, with South Africa and Chile, where that game finished 5-5, no one ever would have thought that Chile would be able to even come close in that game. However, obviously, it was 5-5, and South Africa scored on the siren to take the win. It was a knock-on, unfortunately. <laughs> it was a knock-on. So, you know, phenomenal performance by Chile. They're actually not that bad of a team, to be honest. I know they lost 22-0 to England, but, you know, they're not, they're, not, they're not terrible of a team. It's really good to see them performing at this kind of level with the ability to nearly take down South Africa. Ripper really tournament. It's going to be absolutely a ripper tournament. So get ready for another two days of awesome rugby. But guys, we're in Vegas, baby, so let's have a damn well good time. If you are part of BK Army yet, go and hit that subscribe button below. Hit the little ding -a -ling -a -ling notification bell so you get a notification every single time we upload. And don't forget, guys, live your passion. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Just Go out and smash it. You know you can. I believe in you. Just go out and demo do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.